health is great. He talked to the Colorado people, and so is his jumper from the outside as Evan Batty knocks in his first three of his Colorado career. Remember, Batty. Hit that. Three. <laughs> A star is born. The ring. Shot blocked as Olin Carter went down the lane. Got numbers. The lob to Bay in the alley-oop. Tyler Bay can do that, folks. Seeing an excellent college point guard in McKinley Wright. There's some highlights from the Boston loss last week in San Diego. They had a victory later in the week. Hi, everybody. Back in the Stampede. Voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. Lucas Seward had a pretty good week this week. Uh, bus going the road, though, and uh, that's been a challenge here in the last, what, year, year and a half or so. Kind of take us back to that game in San Diego. I think it boils down to basically don't give up so many offensive rebounds and hit a couple of foul shots, right? Yeah, I mean, San Diego, we knew it was going to be a battle. You know, last year they came in here and, you know, they, they beat us here, so we wanted to do the same thing, and uh, we knew it was, it was going to come down to toughness, and, you know, at that game, it was uh, unfortunate for us. Here you guys are four games into the season at this point in time, sitting at 3-1 and one also after a victory over Air Force, which we'll talk about in a moment. You know, kind of getting a sense of this team and, and what it is capable of on the court. Now, I know you went through camp, but that's not playing in a game. Now that you played a handful of games? Uh, yeah, I mean, our team is, like, really well balanced, so, you know, we, we have a lot of weapons we can use during the games. So I think that's going to help our team a lot throughout, uh, throughout the season. Not depending on only one guy, you know, everybody contributes. You know, I, th I think that's probably one of the keys to this team yeah. this season you're talking about. Yeah. But in the past, George King was going to be a guy you guys were going to lead on. Or, yeah. you know, go back, there's plenty of those guys. And Alec Burks years ago, or, or uh, you know, uh, and most recently, Derek White, of course, is a guy that we always had to uh, rely upon. Yeah. This team, there's probably seven or eight guys who can go out and get you 15 or 20. Yeah, games. yeah, and that's the, the big key for our team this year. You know, we got to recognize that. We have a saying on our team that our go-to guy is the open man, and we try to play. Uh, we try to play through that, you know, to help. Us. How's your transition coming in terms of being more physical, playing inside? As they've asked you to do that the last couple of years. Yeah, they did, and I knew I knew that was gonna come one one day. You know, I, that's something I got. Uh, I've been working on a lot, and it's been helping my game a lot, and, and the team as well. So I'm, I'm gonna keep doing that. They getting in there, banging a little bit with uh, Evan Batty, as big as he is. That's gotta help you out, right? Yeah, yeah. That guy's, going, that guy's an immovable force, yeah. isn't he? Going against him every day definitely helps us <laughs> during the games. Speaking of Evan Batty, of course, it's been an unbelievable journey that he's had over the past couple of years. You've heard a little bit about it. Let's go a bit more in depth now with the redshirt freshman for the Buffaloes. I'm Evan Batty. I'm a redshirt freshman. I'm power, I'm power forward. My senior year of high school, I was ruled in ineligible to play just because um, I repeated my freshman year of high school. Already being ineligible to play, um, that December, I had a stroke. Um, I had a stroke and was followed by two seizures. When I found out what happened to Evan, uh, I was shocked. I was, man, I was praying for that kid. I was. Yeah. The kid knows I love him. I couldn't feel my whole body from my head to my toe. So um, that was kind of like a, a weird feeling because um, I was pretty much paralyzed. All I know is it's, it's great to have him back. Uh, he's a great uh, part of this team. He's a big emotional leader uh, for our team. And he's a guy that uh, we're counting on this year. To fight through it, I mean, damn. If that doesn't give you some goosebumps and show you how hard this kid loves the game of basketball, then you don't know F. The first game for him and for us is going to be a, a big moment. You know, a moment that we've been thinking about since he went through what he went through. It's time now for Evan to enjoy being a college student and being a college basketball player. And he's looking forward to it, and we're looking forward to it. I don't know how I'm going to feel on game night on Tuesday night because, I mean, it's been such a long time coming. So, I mean, I don't know how I'm, I don't know how I'm going to uh, control my emotions. If I cry, I cry. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm getting emotional now because it's just a, a dream come true, actually, because, I mean, I, I never thought I would see, like, the end of this tunnel. I mean, not playing for almost three years, it's just a hard time to overcome, so um, I'm ready.
certainly an overcoming story by Evan Batty. Buffaloes, after the loss of San Diego, come back with a 37-point win on the road at Air Force last week. This guy had 17 points, eight rebounds, didn't miss a bucket. Bucket, we got to get you more shots. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's something, you know, I, I try to get as much shots, shots as I can, but we also try to make plays for each other. You know, I'm going I'm to try to get a great shot every time, and, and that's helping my percentage as well. Three three-pointers in that ball game. You're shooting a fantastic percentage right now from outside the arc. The ball looks really good coming off your hand. Is it feeling good? Yeah, I mean, I've been working on my shot a lot every day with Coach English. You know, when I go out in the game, I'm not doing anything different that I didn't do in practice. So I just try to show with confidence. And, yeah. Have you always been a good shooter? Yeah, I mean, I've always, since I've been playing basketball, I've always worked on my shot since I was, you know, 11, 12 years old. Uh, and that's something that made me different from other big men, you know, from where I come from. Yeah. Uh, so that helped me get here, and it's helping me on this level as well. How about just that transition? I know we've talked about it a time before, but I'd imagine now by your third season with the Buffaloes, there's just a comfort level of, of being here. You know uh, everything about Boulder, the culture, you know, what you need to do within this program. There's got to yeah. be a comfort that comes with that. Yeah, I mean, right now is my junior year, so I'm trying to lead this, this team as much as I can, you know, next year. It's my last year, so I'm trying to, you know, I have no regrets coming out of here. When you play with a guy like McKinley Wright as well, as well as he sees the court for a guy that likes to spot and shoot like you do, mm -hmm. that's got to be a, a great feeling out there, knowing that at any point in time, if you get yourself in a good spot, he's going to find you. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like to think that me and McKinley have a good uh, connection on the court. You know, um, we always joke about, around that. I always get him assists. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's something, you know, I like playing with him because he, he knows how to deliver the ball well. All right, big week for the Buffalo. He's got a midweek game. And then, of course, Colorado State coming here to the CU Event Center on Saturday. Big game out of this guy, Lucas Seward. Yeah. 17 points, 8 rebounds, 37-point win over Air Force.